In storytelling, the montage is a really popular way to move your story forward. In this project, I want to edit a series of still photos that were shot on location in Alaska for this particular shoot. And I'm probably going to want to edit those to music. That's going to be really great and it's going to help move the story forward and really add a nice visual component to the story. So one of the ways Final Cut Pro can be used is to create new sequences for segments of your story. So we've got a new sequence here. I've opened it into the timeline. It's called Alaska Montage. Nothing's in it. But notice in the canvas, the image area is a boxy 4 by 3 aspect ratio. But when we go back to the primary sequence where I've been building my video footage, you see that that footage is 16 by 9, which is, of course, reflective of what the original footage is, which is a high def 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So I've got a problem. I need to figure out a way to edit my stills in at that aspect ratio, because check this out. If I edit a still image, notice the still image is the wide frame uh, aspect ratio, I can edit it into my montage sequence. And those of you who are familiar with Final Cut Pro might say, well, gee, what happened to that question that it asked when it says, do you want me to change your settings? Well, guess what? That question is not asked when you edit a still image into an empty sequence. It's almost as though that image is not a strong enough representation to change the sequence settings. The way Final Cut Pro deals with stills is to conform the image itself into the sequence settings. So what we have here is the image of the bear reduced in size to fit inside the 4 by 3 aspect ratio image area. So we get our black bars at the top and the bottom. That's one problem. Another problem is we don't get to see the bear at the larger image. It's another. And the third issue is that when we get ready now to edit these sequences together, the montage still image sequence with our original footage, the sequence settings won't match. And we don't want that. So here's what I'm going to do to correct that problem. First of all, I'm going to undo what I just did. I still have the 4 by 3 aspect ratio of the image area. And instead of starting by editing with a still image, I'm going into my video clips bin and open a video clip and edit that into this sequence. That will bring up the question that Final Cut Pro asks of whether it wants you to change the sequence settings to match the clip settings, and I will definitely say yes. Now, before I click yes, keep your eye on the image area in the canvas, because as soon as I click yes, Final Cut Pro will change that. Now, we are at a larger image um, view, so I'm going to go to my Zoom pop-up and say fit into the window. And notice what we have now. The image area has changed to the 16 by 9 aspect ratio because the sequence settings have changed to match the clip. So now what we can do is go back to our still images. I'll open that first one again. Simply edit that particular clip. And we have, I'm going to go ahead and zoom into the sequence here a little bit, make these images larger. So now this JPEG image of the bear has been created to match the size of the sequence. I've got a 16 by 9 aspect ratio of the still image, which is exactly what I want. So that takes care of it. All I have to do now is click on the video clip that I used to change the sequence settings and just choose Sequence and Ripple Delete to pull it out of that sequence. I can now go ahead and add other images, other still images and music and continue building my still image montage feeling safe knowing that I have a sequence that will match and edit very easily back into my other segments of my story.